failure is an essential part of innovation. Mm -hmm. But taxpayers have a very low tolerance for failure on their dime. Right. Um, and so what lessons has uh, this White House learned on that front? We have to invest in those fundamental building blocks of innovation, infrastructure, education, basic R&D. We need to uh, promote competitive markets that spur entrepreneurship. We help do that translation on both sides, from the government out and from the startup in. There is tremendous potential for the first time ever to bring together, to reintegrate re engineering uh, and design and production and the science of materials all in one space. If I was f uh, starting a small company in Silicon Valley, and I had an opportunity uh, cost to, to evaluate every time I considered going after new business, the government would be the last thing I'd go after. It's a giant bureaucracy. You don't know which door to knock on. You don't know all the policies, all the procurement regulations. You There's do know this. the White House guy is staring oh, at you I right now. Oh, I know this. Yeah, he's, he, he looks happy, though. But, <laughs> but it, it's one of the last things I'd think of. So uh, part of our mission is to, to basically be that concierge for them, to help them understand the on-ramp to get involved with government and to actually see that it's a very compelling customer and it's a customer that's gonna present them with challenges that help them grow and become a more effective company in technology. What is the uh, rationale for uh, investing in supporting innovation? Uh, what is the market failure, as it were, that uh, calls for government action, and, and how are you doing it? The prosperity of this country and our international competitiveness depend on innovation now more than ever, uh, and that government plays a fundamental role that always has and, and will continue to in the 21st century, um, and that it's really important that we get, uh, that we get the interaction right between you know, government's proper role in generating innovation and the private sector and, and knitting them together in the most productive way. We have to invest in those fundamental building blocks of innovation, infrastructure, education, basic R&D. We need to uh, promote competitive markets that spur entrepreneurship. And then you know, in, in, in targeted ways, we need to catalyze uh, breakthroughs in national priority areas that are vital to, to the country's future. We've seen changes in a number of fronts. One is just the rapid pace of change of the threats, you know, they're um, what used to be decade-long evolutions of, of weapon systems we had to worry about are now in some cases, you know, weeks and months of, of change in terms of how adversaries can respond, and we've seen that uh, over and over again. 